You know, a number of Coastal Bend residents are still without power at this hour. I know that's the case for my apartment, my family in Sinton, but we also know multiple mm -hmm. crews are behind those efforts to get that power restored as quickly and as safely as possible. That's right. With that, we want to bring in Omar Lopez representing AEP. Omar, thank you for joining us this evening. Hi, Rudy. Hi, Leslie. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Hey, Omar. So ERCOT officials met this morning declaring Texas at the highest energy emergency level due to that low power supply being met by super high demand. So with folks still without power at this hour, we've likely got several viewers joining us on the apps on their phones. Is there an estimated time frame you can give us as to when power could be back on for these people? You know, Leslie, I wish I could, but not yet. And this is what's happened in the meantime. At about 2 a.m., ERCOT issued a directive to all utility companies in Texas, including AEP Texas, to take electricity off the grid and to implement and initiate rotating power outages. And that's what's happening right now. Well, by 5 a.m., they increased that emergency level in Texas. They didn't have enough reserves built up yet, so we had to remove even more customers off the grid to try to save electricity. This will prolong a longer outage and also save any damage to the electrical grid. Now, because they raised that emergency level in Texas, we're going to see these rotating power outages for the next 24 hours at least, maybe into Wednesday. So last night at midnight, we had about 26,000 customers out of power in Texas across the service territory. Those are traditional power outages. Right now at 4 o'clock, we have 367,000 AEP Texas customers without power. And unfortunately, we can't determine who is a traditional power outage and who is a rolling power outage. So our crews are ready to start actively restoring customers the minute ERCOT says it's safe enough to do so. Well, that's good to know. That is absolutely good to know. But aside from the obvious, uh, for folks who uh, don't have power or perhaps in anticipation of not having power, layering up uh, at this point in time, homes, apartments feel like an icebox. What else do residents need to do, be doing before they get into this situation where they lose power? Well, this is a very hard message to deliver, I will tell you, Rudy, but I want to be honest with everyone. If you don't have power right now, you're probably not going to have power until tomorrow. And that, that's just the honest truth. There's no way that our crews can safely restore power right now because of the rotating power outages. Plus, you may be on one of the circus, circuits that is involved in the rotating uh, power outage. So if you don't have power right now, please prepare to not have power tonight. Now, back last week when ERCOT was predicting some of these prolonged power outages, we asked a lot of people to prepare. Hopefully everybody did. But we are right there with you, believe me. We are waiting on ERCOT's word. If it comes at 5 in the morning, if it comes at midnight tonight, we're going to get to work. And that is just the AEP way. Well, mm -hmm. Omar, thank you so much for joining us on 3 News at 6. We really appreciate that and all the hard work those crews are doing. Thank you.